Denver is a fashionable city. We'll tell you where to find the best of Denver Fashion Week. Plus, the sun has not yet set for Denver marijuana entrepreneurs, and the minimum wage is on the rise. I'm Rebecca Jacobson, and here's what's happening in your city now. I share with you today that our proposal to make that higher minimum wage a reality is prepared to go to City Council. You heard it straight from the mayor. Denver is now considering raising the minimum wage from $11.10 to $15 an hour. Those raises would take place over the next two years, but it only applies to city workers and contractors. Mayor Hancock hopes the state will let Denver raise wages citywide. And let us encourage our state legislators and know that if you do indeed change the state law to allow the people of Denver to change its minimum wage across the city, we stand ready to accept that opportunity. Reach out to your city council representative to talk about changing Denver's minimum wage. In November of 2016, voters approved Initiative 300, which was designed to allow existing businesses the opportunity to apply for private cannabis consumption areas. However, only two social consumption businesses have filed applications in over two years. And at Monday's city council meeting, the legislators decided to change things. This very short bill simply repeals the 2020 sunset of the 2016 voter approved initiative that allows businesses to apply for designated social consumption licenses. It's a matter of business fairness. Prospective businesses need more time to plan, to finance, to find a location, and to apply for a license. At the public hearing, proponents of social consumption supported the measure, with some even offering a lighthearted take on the matter. Our city has been the lodestar for the entire world to follow, and we have brought cannabis out from the shadows and shown the world that we can regulate and manage it ourselves. I heard the, the joke recently a couple of times. You get five drunk people together and they start a fight. You get five stoned people together and they start a band. I mean, we are really, really at the creme de la creme when we start talking about what we've done here in Denver for monitoring intoxication, ventilation, all of the health and safety, the work that the city put into these models, into these rules, they're workable. I think it's a no-brainer to uh, repeal it. It's not serving any purpose. It's just hindering the ability for anyone to put a business plan together. The bill will be on final consideration at next week's legislative meeting. In 2018, Denver police reported 59 traffic deaths. Although the vast majority of Denver commutes by motor vehicle, over half of those 59 traffic deaths were traveling by foot or on bikes or motorcycles. Denver's Vision Zero program is working to drop the number of traffic fatalities down to zero by the year 2030. Using data-driven processes, the program implements international best practices for street safety. In 2018, Vision Zero redesigned 13 intersections, created 19 miles of new bike lanes, and upgraded pedestrian crossings at four locations. The program installed six miles of new sidewalks and 1,975 new curb ramps, as well as making changes to how traffic lights function at 43 intersections. For 2019, dedicated Vision Zero staff plan to implement more changes with a strong focus on outreach and education in the neighborhoods and arterial streets where crashes and injuries occur most often. Find out more about Vision Zero and how you can get involved in making our streets safer at denvergov.org slash Vision Zero. You don't have to go to New York to enjoy great fashion runway shows. Denver has had its own fashion week for the last 10 years. And a new exhibit at the McNichols Building celebrates with the best of Denver Fashion Week. The exhibit features photography of some memorable runway shows, plus actual fashions, all from local designers. The exhibit runs through April 7th and is free. This year's Denver Fashion Week runs from March 23rd through the 31st. To learn more, watch the fashion retrospective edition of Art Scene, premiering March 5th on Denver 8. This edition also features a non-traditional fashion show from Denver Fashion Week, plus an original competition from design students from Colorado Institute of Art, and a look back at Star Wars and the Power of Costume from the Denver Art Museum. You can catch new episodes of Your City Now every Friday. Thanks for watching, Denver.